Morning. All right, today I'm gonna do um, two cooking. I'm gonna cook today. I'm gonna do a whole chicken on my rotisserie and that just dripped Ooh, on me. Yuck, uck, uck. And then, um, but right now I'm gonna do this. It's a spice tea recipe. It is so good. And I'm sure everybody has a spice tea recipe or they buy some pre-made spice tea. <clears throat> My throat has been itching the last couple of days. It is rainy here, then it's sunshiny and it's cold. And you don't have to go out twice a day with animals. So I guess just getting back and forth, back and forth, it's just uh, got to me. So I've got a little bit of an itchy throat. And when I get like that, I usually drink spiced tea. And mom has always made it up for me. <clears throat> but um, she can't right now. So I'm going to do it. And I bought a few things this morning. We were short on some stuff. I was out of cappuccino, um, caramel cappuccino. Mom was out too, so I got her a couple of boxes. She drinks it more often than I do. And I got me the chicken to do on the rotisserie in a little bit. And I'll show y'all that too. And um, I do want to say that a very sweet lady sent me some uh, keto sweet sugar. Since we are try we try to stick to keto around here. And I'm going to have to use it because they were out of... I told y'all before how I do the, the tea for Levi. And I always do two... Southern Sweet Lipton Teas and one Louisiana. Louisiana tea is just stronger, I, believe, I think. In my opinion, it's stronger. So they were out of Southern Sweet at Walmart this morning. So I just had to get Louisiana by itself. Therefore, I'm going to have to add sugar myself. So that'll come in handy when I get ready to do that. So I really appreciate that. But let me get going on this, uh, the spice tea. So, it contains an allspice. Now, used to years ago, remember you could get that big uh, container of, um, oh my gosh, what was that orange juice? It was that fake orange juice. I can't even think now. My mind's gone blank on what it was called. Um, but it was that powdered orange juice. So, Walmart, a great value, makes, and I'm sure other stores make an off-brand or even a name brand like the Crystal Light stuff, but this is called um, Orange Early Sunrise, and then I get the Lemon Tea Packets. It's the same, same brand, great value, and there's six packets in each one of these, and all of them go into your spice tea. And when it gets done, you you don't even have to have a teaspoon for a normal, um, like one of these cups, one of these little coffee cups, just a normal little coffee cup, like a quarter teaspoon, or if you want it a little stronger, you could go a half a teaspoon, but it's, it's so good. It so makes your throat feel so much better. It's that lemon that's in the tea. And then you get the orange, which is good for you anyway. It's not real orange, but let's just, you know, it's good. It tastes good, and it makes your throat feel good when you're drinking it. And um, I go through a lot of it when I'm not feeling good. Levi does, too. If Levi says, I can't get that junk out of my throat, I can make him some spiced tea. And in a few minutes, the heat of the tea, the warmer the water, and the tea and the flavors, the aroma you're getting from the allspice, and... Um, it just makes you feel better. And next thing you know, he's able to spit spit junk up. So, um, not that we want to talk about all that, but that's what happens when we're sick and we all have it all ha happens to all of us. So, anyway, I'm going to do this real quick for y'all. Give me one second. All right, so I got this jug. So, when I put it on, I can shake it all up. And I got a tablespoon for the allspice. I'm going to do a tablespoon, but um, when you make it, if you decide to do this, 
You can do it to ever how much you want. I'm just gonna use it all and make it all. I'm gonna put it into my canister so it'll always be ready, at least for a while. But the thing is, you can always add or subtract the allspice. So if you add a tablespoon, and that's not even a full tablespoon, because the allspice is very strong. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon, not quite a tablespoon. And then all of these, I'm gonna add them all. And um, that's six lemon teas. And six orange. And I'm gonna put them all in here. I may only do five orange, so I can keep one out for orange juice. I sent some of this to Jamie one time when she wasn't feeling good. I don't remember if it was COVID related, but it's been a while. Um, we all grew up on it when we were kids with mom and dad. But back then, when we were kids, like I was saying earlier, there was that big tub of um, orange juice that you you know used to make. You know, I think there were lots of me with the name of that orange juice, isn't that tub? And then there was like the Lip Lipton lemon tea. And this just makes it so much easier. No measuring cups or any of that. The only thing you measured was that allspice. And then I just put it in here, put that lid on it, and I just shake it. And the truth is, that's not much, but that will last a long, long time. And then I have these canisters that I keep on my counter. And I have a little bit left. It does sometimes. This has a ring around it to keep moisture out, but I've got a few clump, oh, a few clumps. But I didn't have a whole lot left. And that's all I do. That's good. Try it. Even if you don't make this much, you just want to make a little bit, get the lemon, the lemon tea, get the orange juice, get some allspice. Just do one packet of each in some kind of a small little container, a mason jar or something. A little bit of allspice. And I'm serious on the, the spoon. This is my quarter teaspoon, and this is what I make mine with. I put one of these in this cup, and you can put a lemon wedge in there too if you wanted to. Anyway, I, I wanted to show y'all that in case anybody's not feeling real good, and at, at night when you're ready to go to bed, but you feel a little stuffy because this stuff smells, it opens up, oh my gosh, there's something on the porch, one more. All right, so I guess it was just the cat jumping from the swing to the porch. And I seen like what I thought was feathers, but it was just leaves. So I'm going, to, when I come back from um, over there by the door, I turn my kettle on and it's done. So I'm gonna put a quarter teaspoon of my, um, my spice tea and my kettle. actually needs a little bit of a um, little bit more allspice 
so I'll add that to my container. That's what I was saying. Once you make it and you heat your water and everything is ready, taste it. If it needs more of something, which you really can't, you probably aren't going to need more of the lemon or the orange. You're probably just going to need me need more or less of this, depending on how much you put in to start with. So anyway, that's done. And I hope y'all try that because it really is good. And um, I'm going to uh, do a rotisserie chicken in a few minutes. I've got um, that Showtime rotisserie. They used to sell them. used to be like an infomercial, a TV. You ordered it. I found mine. We lost the house in the fire in 2012. And I'd had it a couple of years already. But my, um, it didn't burn because I kept it on my, uh, in my laundry room, in the storage in my laundry room, because it's a big oven, it's a big machine, and, um, I had nowhere in my kitchen to store it. My kitchen was gone in my old house. There was nothing left in my kitchen but canned goods on the floor. Um, I even told Tina, I said, I'm just going to take these home and open them all and we'll just eat them. She goes, they've already cooked inside them cans. So she wouldn't let my sister, she wouldn't let me take them home, take them to the camper. Um, but anyway, I will uh, do another video in a minute and um, I'm going to melt up some butter and uh, put some spices in the butter and use the syringe to inject it into the chicken. And then I will also rub some butter on the outside and pat down some spices on him put him on the big skewer thing and stick him in the oven. And um, I'll show all y'all that in a, in a few minutes. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Levi, pause that please. All right, I'm gonna start the chicken now and um, let y'all see how I get started. So I've done, opened him and drained him and I've melted some butter and then i have some more butter here that i'll rub on him in a minute i've got my big skewer out it comes with this little holder thing so it'll sit still and um i got my pan out that goes in the bottom of the rotisserie and i lined it both ways with so there's no way Hopefully, I won't have to clean this too much. Or nothing will be fried on. So, I, one way and then another way. Because my foil doesn't quite cover. Just barely up the side. So, now this way, both both sides are completely covered. And um, I'll set that down in there. And then I'll take that out in a second and put that in the rotisserie. So, I have a chicken rub. And then I have a chicken season salt. And the season salt, I will put in the butter. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that in. I'm hoping y'all can see what I'm doing. Let me see what I can see. Yeah, you can see. So, just shook some in. I'm not gonna put any salt or pepper on it. Just that, that seasoning. And you can use any kind of seasoning you like. That's just what I buy. Um, it's just the that's Spice Classics. But I also love this Uncle Chris's. Um, no, this is Fiesta. Fiesta makes an Uncle Chris. Yeah, Uncle Chris's Gourmet Steak Seasoning. So this Fiesta is what I'll rub on the outside. But I put the chicken seasoned salt in this butter and then I will turn this at an angle so I can hopefully it's not sticking in I'm not kind of deep enough <clears throat> let me pour this into something I can get deeper just when I think I've got it all planned. And I ain't working out. And I ain't working out. I need something deeper. I'll just use another coffee cup. It's got to get it deep enough because this syringe, the little hole, well, there's a hole way up high and then there's a hole. I don't know if we need it covered in both, but 
We're gonna do it this way. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm sucking all of it in there. Live TV, it's wonderful. Nothing ever works out like you want it to. I've gotten to where it just won't come up any further than that. And I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe I need to have that down. Oh yeah, there it comes. Ugh. All right. All right, now I'm just gonna get him in the hip. In the back. That's all I'm gonna do, those four holes. Uh, let's see if I can get some in that other leg down toward the bottom. butter. Did it melt it in my hands? Good. Levi, baby, I've asked you. I paused it. If anything plays in the background, they hit you up for this copyright mess. So I've told him, I said, he's going to have to, when I'm doing a video, if I'm in the house, he's going to have to. I stopped it. Go to his room, go to my room, or just watch it turn down all the way, or just pause it until I'm done. These minute videos don't last all that long. All right, let me get my hands washed. Should have had my hot water turned on so it'd be come out hot. Takes a minute for hot to get in here. there. Alright, so now that I've done that, I'm going to tie him up first. And I ordered extras of these little ties. <clears throat> I don't know if you can get them on Amazon or not. I ordered them years ago on eBay. I think it was like I don't remember how much they were for extra ones. I just remember that it was like 25, a bunch of 25, but I think you could order different sellers had different quantities. I just ordered 25 of them. But um, I just hook it around his feet and I double it. I pull his legs in. I'm so sad talking about him. <laughs> Thank you, chicken, for giving us the meal tonight. Talking about your legs. And then I go around his the little neck stub, but I also stretch it out and catch his wings. And there may be a more professional way to do it i don't know but that's that's how i do it tuck his little wing under get his little wing tucked in and that'll keep him from his parts flopping around inside the rotisserie and then um i'm gonna pour some more of this butter on him with this flavor that's already on there but then I'm going to rub him sprinkle this. Now, I know it probably looks like a lot, but he will taste delicious when it's all done. And it's 15 minutes per pound. And he was... I'm having a problem with his this little wing. There.
there. So it's 15 minutes per pound. And then just skewer him. Oh, his wing, his wing, his wing. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wrap another tie on this wing. And as much as you might not want to hear it, these are reusable. Even after they've been wrapped around this chicken, they are reusable. There. I'll hold him in. This one wing is acting better than this other wing. <sighs> It's doing what it's supposed to. All right, and then you just scare him. Wash my hands again. Can't never be too careful with chicken. You know, whenever you, when you're done with chicken, clean up is very important because you never, 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 never want to get salmonella poisoning. All right, so he's dripping a little bit. I'm just gonna sit him on his tray. All right, let me give me a second. I'm gonna get you outside with him. All right, so we're out. I've got the camera out here on the porch. There's the big oven right there. And I'm going to go and run in the house and get him and get him in. And then I'll show y'all getting it started. So give me one more second. All right. So he will slip up into got these little slits in the side of that. But, uh, the rotisserie thing hangs on. Close it up. Now I know this oven looks like it's been through the ringer. Hours, there's one hour. And I'm gonna get it up to an hour and a half is what I'm gonna cook him. But I'm gonna give it about eight more minutes. So an hour and 38 minutes is what he's going to cook. The eight minutes, I think it's eight to 10 is what it says. It needs to heat up, but you don't preheat it. It's, the chicken's in there, but it's preheating in the oven. So, cause it takes about eight minutes for the heat to really get in there. And I know it looks like it's been through the ringer and it has, I mean, it made it through a fire. There's even something right here that melted and drip down on the glass that was in the house. A lot of my house, a lot of the rooms, the heat was just so hot that things melted. Like the couch didn't burn, it melted. The TV melted off the wall. It was it was pretty bad. But um, like I said, this made it through the fire. It just don't look all that good anymore. And I didn't buy it brand new to start with, although it looked brand new when I bought it. She hadn't used it very often, but I found it on Craigslist. I would say probably about 2010. That's how old it is. And I don't know how long she'd had it before me. But I had it a couple of years before the fire. And the fire was in 2012. And I don't use it all that often. And I hear a little bit of hum. So probably I need to like oil the gears inside there. Could probably just spray them with some Pam. But um, anyway, it'll take about an hour and a half. And... Uh, that's what Levi and I will have for dinner for tonight. So, um, I'll show you that when it's done. All right, see y'all guys later. Okay, here it is. There's our chicken. I haven't taken his ties off of him yet. And uh, when I get them off, I'll have to soak them in the hot water, the dish water. And, but that's our dinner tonight. Chicken, um, garlic bread, some broccoli and some um, Alfredo noodles.
that's dinner. Chicken looks so pretty. All right, guys. Y'all have a good night. And uh, God bless y'all. Levi, come eat. You can come say hi. Hi. They can't see you. My voice is almost gone. Hi. Come in here and fix your plate. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Ready to eat? Yes. All right. See y'all later.